You may have wondered, will this guy ever add lights to his festival stage? Yes, right in this episode. In this video, I assume that you already have some background about what channels are in EOS and how to patch fixtures. If not, I recommend watching the official ETC tutorials, which are linked down in the description. Okay, so let's get started. We'll go into patch by double pressing the address soft key. Next, we'll type in our channel number 101 and patch a solar frame 3000. We'll change to the augmented view and go into the augmented patch view. As soon as we give the fixture any position in augmented, it automatically appears in our view. We can now go into edit mode and take our fixture and move it right to the position we want to have it. But of course this would be very time consuming for each fixture. So I usually only place the first fixture manually to get the coordinates. Then I enter them for all the other fixtures in patch based on this starting position. And I'll show you this with an example now. We'll go back into patch and add 10 solar frame 3000 for our front truss. We can now set the position of all our 10 channels at once by pressing position. The syntax is the starting position through the end position. EOS will then automatically calculate all the positions in between. So we enter channel 101 through 110, position minus 9 slash 0 slash 9.85, which are the XYZ coordinates for the first fixture that we already have in our scene. Then we say through 9, 0, 9.85, which is the opposite side of the stage. If you press enter, you can see that all of our fixtures are arranged accordingly. We'll now equip two more trusses with solar frame 3000 fixtures. And I'm using the same syntax for the next 10 fixtures. The only difference is that I now enter 4 as Y position, since my middle truss is 4 meters away from the front truss. I now want to add some wash lights for the trusses in between. So I patch 9 solar picks 19 as multi cell fixtures for the second and 9 for the fourth truss. Next, I'll give them coordinates. My X starting point is now 8 meters and the next point is minus 8 meters. With this I'm filling all the gaps in between my solar frame 3000 fixtures. As you can see it is very easy to equip my stage with a lot of lights in a very short time. That's why you now go straight on and patch another 10 fixtures for the bottom of our stage. This time we assume that we do not know the exact location. We only know the fixture should start at a dx value of minus 9 and end at 9 meters. We'll just enter this exactly the same way. Minus 9 through 9, enter. We can now change the position of our selected fixtures manually and also rotate them accordingly. I'll now place some more solar frame 3000 fixtures on my stage. And this time I'll do a diagonal arrangement using both a different x and y position. And I'll mirror this on the other side. As you can see I now have a gap between the fixtures that does not look that great. So I would like to move both sides in by half a meter. I could either set the position again or I can say position plus 0.5. If I want to shift the position by minus 0.5 meters, I simply enter plus minus 0.5. The plus here is important because otherwise EOS would assume that all the fixtures should go to an X position of 0.5 meters. As an alternative, we could also very easily fine tune the position of the individual fixtures in edit mode. The sides of our stage will be pretty straightforward. We'll hang 9 washers on each side. So we'll first patch them and then hang three lights on each truss. And that's it. We now have equipped a stage with about 100 moving lights in a very short time. In our next episode we will add a DJ setup that we'll illuminate with some conventionals. They're pretty cool tools and augmented that simplify the process of working with conventional fixtures. So stay tuned for the next video.